The cymatics thing you saw earlier, we did a challenge uh, for Music Tech Fest. In the lead up to Music Tech Fest, we have oh, a hackathon, and we wanted the best hackers in the world to come to Music Tech Fest in Scandinavia, here in Umeå, and have uh, a, a room full of really, really brilliant people. So we thought, you know what would be a really good idea? Let's do a cymatics challenge. Show me stuff that uses physics to take, take sound and create physical shapes and physical Im images and patterns. Um, and give us your best hacks. And the ones that we like the most, the ones that impress us, uh, we'll, we'll pick, pick a few and we'll fly them to Sweden. Uh, and we thought that they might come from, say, Norway or from, I don't know, Finland. Uh, they came, two of them from uh, the United States, one of them from Budapest. Um, but uh, we've got them here. We're really delighted they could come here because they were just phenomenal projects. Adam, who is our hacker manager, is going to tell us a little bit more about them. But uh, the reason, the whole reason, apart from look how brilliant uh, that we brought Reaps over was this connection between music and cymatics and visuals. And we thought that was a fantastic connection to make. So it's our honor to have him as our, our award-winning judge for the Music Tech Fest Cymatics Challenge. Adam, do you want to uh, introduce winners, please? First of all, one more time for Reaps because that was fucking unreal. <laughs> Thank you. What? I can only describe that as head-explosingly amazing. Um, so I've got some things to show you. As Dubber said, we took uh, the kind of idea of cymatics and the fact that it crosses multiple fields in a way that's interesting but combines to make something very beautiful. Um, and so we challenged people to make cymatics hacks and uh, the best entries we're going to get flown here so they could contribute to the festival um, in some way. So, uh, first of all, the little announcement video that, with which we launched the challenge, uh, if I can have my computer. And this was a demonstration of a cymatics hack made with about 25 pounds worth of stuff in a few hours, but we thought it kind of illustrated that you can do strange, seemingly impossible and beautiful stuff, and that sound can affect physical matter in ways that is quite fascinating. Anyway, I brought this piece of equipment. You can come and play with it in the uh, hat camp at some point. But uh, So we had lots of amazing submissions from places all over the world. Amazing artists, coders, hackers, and musicians contributed. Um, and we decided to award kind of different categories. Oh my god, Jason Singh just walked in. Beatboxer City. Oh my god. Wow, okay, we're surrounded by celebrities. I'm getting a little bit hot and bothered here. Um, so we decided to judge in different categories, and uh, those were going to be the best hack from a conceptual point of view, uh, the best physically produced hack, and then the most artistic or uh, kind of creative video entry. Um, and so first of all, let's see CJ Carr's entry all the way from Boston.
Reeps is doing the honours this oh. first award <laughs> uh, for the best hack conceptually <laughs> goes to... <laughs> conceptually. <laughs> conceptually, but so also I, I, consensually, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Goes to CJ Carr. Please make some noise for CJ Carr. Woo! Woo! Yes. <laughs> I, ex I conceptually accept this award. <laughs> and consensually. Yeah, thank you very much, man. I absolutely loved it. I hope to see... Uh, unfortunately, you've set the bar very high for yourself now for this weekend for the Hack Camp, but I don't feel that you'll have any problem with that. It's okay, calm down. <laughs> Again, one more time, <laughs> CJ Carr. <Yeah. laughs> Amazing. Next up, <laughs> you don't have to stay if you don't want to, but you can. You know? Oh, if you have any questions, questions? for CJ, absolutely, now is the time. But he will be joining us at the Hat Camp through the weekend if you just want to pick his wonderful brain about S anything and everything. Standing waves in a hypercube? Cross sections. Okay. Ask me later. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Sorry, I, I'm going to ask the question. Um, could you explain a hypercube, please? Oh yes. Uh, square, cube, hypercube. Mm, so it's a 4D shape. Yes. Mm. Uh, a 4D shape where all the sides are the same length. It's very much cube-like, but with an extra dimension there. <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, I'm struggling to imagine it, but only because I know I can't. Is the uh... well, it's uh, not easy to represent visually, and so you need to do some kind of a trick. And in in my case, uh, cross sections. So a hypercube has cube cross sections, and then you just kind of sort through them, and you see all the various cube cross sections of a. So was that was that the um, uh, the stage stages yes. of shape that we saw in the video? Right, all the undulations. Yeah. Awesome. That were visualized, cross-sectioning. Amazing. I mean, it hurts my brain, but I love it. <laughs> yes, CJ, thank you very much. I expect great things from you. And where weekend. can we get your music? Is the, does it exist on the internet somewhere? Uh, you're putting it on, I'm putting pressure if, on you, if, sir. If, if you want to hear it, introduce yourself to me so I get to know who you are. So then we can be friends. The old school way. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, thank you very yourself. much, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next up, from Ginger Lee, also known as Synthestruct, all the way from Orlando. Hello, Music Tech Festival. I am Synthestruct, and this is my cymatics hack. Admittedly, I'm a little bit of a cymatics fanatic. I'm fascinated with both the aesthetics and also the underlying physics and wave mechanics. When it comes to creating the final look of the waveforms, there are many variables that contribute to the behavior of the waves. The speaker, the amplifier, the medium you're using, and of course, the audio, the source that will set everything in motion. For the cymatics hack, I decided to venture beyond areas I've already experimented with. Inspired by generative and self-sustaining feedback systems, I took the cymatics hack as an opportunity to create surface waves that generate and manipulate their own source audio. Using processing, I created a script, or sketch as it's called in processing, that analyzes visual data from a video feed of the cymatics and translates that information into a frequency, which is then fed back to the speaker. That generated frequency then affects the waveforms, which is continuously analyzed by the script, and the continuous self-generating audiovisual loop is created. I hope you enjoyed my cymatics hack. Thank you for watching. Woo. Amazing. Ginger, thank you. Come and join us. Uh, since you actually made this, because it is possible to build uh, and was absolutely beautiful, we uh, went with the best physically produced hack. Uh, so thank you very much. I absolutely loved it. The fact that it was self-sustaining and the fact that it was like the creation was part of the artwork, but then you could just run it forever and it would be continuously changing made it absolutely amazing for me. So thank you. I thought Can I make this. one quick plug? 
Absolutely. I'm actually going to do a little talk on Sunday about it because that has actually evolved and it's now also an interac interactive cymatics uh, project. So I'm going to talk after your talk on Sunday a little bit about it. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, I just say it's, it's the best um, display of marrying the two concepts I've ever seen. Um, so yeah, uh, it's extremely exciting and wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Make some noise. And finally, from Budapest, Fanny Pazakis entry. Fanny, come and join us. Excellent. So for the category of best video slash most artistic entry, you win our prize. I particularly liked that everyone seems to think that the non-Newtonian fluid thing looks very alive, and I've done that experiment myself, and it is really bizarre just how much it tricks you into thinking it's choosing the direction to move in, and the that being mirrored by movements of the dancer, I thought was absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, congratulations. That was Thanks really brilliant. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs> and obviously, the production value is absolutely stunning. Okay. Also, I think the music was yours too, right? Yeah, I produced the music because I'm dealing with uh, making music video for myself, and I'm dealing with associative music videos. So this all came out of here. So, yeah, that's it. Amazing, <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much.